edition of His Turn, Her Turn, and I'm here with Lauren Fix, the car coach. I am Lauren Fix. This time from uh, the Monticello or Monticello Motorsport Park. Are we in New Jersey or in New York? We're in New York, but are you like potato, potato, tomato, tomato, Porsche, Porsche? No. But in this case, BMW or BMW. BMW. And that's yeah. the important thing because uh, what we're here to do is to give you a first look at the new 2016 BMW 7 Series. generation of the 7 Series car. I've owned two of these in the past. They came out in 1977, and at the time, that was their flagship car. That was yeah. their luxury piece, and it was. It was a beautiful car, and everybody wanted one. But now, this is like the map of luxury. This is exclusive. This is an individual bespoke vehicle, hence the helicopters behind us, because people that have these cars apparently can afford helicopters. Well, yeah, you know, we couldn't, but they were nice enough to fly us here in them so that we could uh, still really experience what I think is, is the essence of this car, which is very Midtown Manhattan, and, and, and still give us the opportunity to ring it out a little bit. This is not a track car. No, this, you but don't they know do it in M Sport. They, you can hear the cars going behind us here sure. at the track. I, I want to drive it too, but there's so much to learn about this car from a static position, the technology that's been built into the car in this edition, it's always been on the cutting edge. You know, if you go through each generation, you can see uh, industry first, industry first, industry first, for, for different things. And this car Including is- Including ABS, do you believe that? Yeah, I mean, that was a long time ago. Yeah. But this car has got another whole bushel basket full of stuff. That's first in the 12. industry. That's, that's a lot. Yeah, there's a Gesture lot. Gesture control. You've got carbon fiber with their own carbon fiber plant in the state of uh, Washington. Washington. And it's got aluminum. I mean, this car has got so much. Every car's much got aluminum. The... What you're talking well, about is that, uh, for instance, each one of the little tactile pieces on the inside of the beautiful. car is not just made to look like aluminum. It is aluminum. Even, even like the little little spot around the door lock. I had to take a picture of it. It was just so cool. No, I'll, t I'll tell you the way I've been thinking about this. And, and I, I tell you what, let's show you the rest of the car first. And then when we come back, then I'm going to give you my, my takeaway as right. to how I position this car. We shall see what his it. turn is versus her turn. After all, that's what we do. That's what we do. Okay. Ready to take it for a drive? I am ready. All let's right. Let's go, Miss Fix. Let's go. All right. Behind the wheel of the new 7 Series, this is your initial impression of this car, is that you've just met an old friend you haven't seen for a long time, but you realize that they've been, uh, I don't want to say plastic surgery, but they just look great, you know, and you just say, holy mackerel, you look great, because a lot of the things that, that you see in here have got the same kind of feel to it uh, from previous 7 cars, and yet, it's a whole new world of stuff. Uh, if you hear another voice in the background, here, watch this. And here's what we talk about gesture control in this car. At the end, here, we're... Silver Goncari on conducting the Berlin film. See, I'm still it's learning. A very different kind of conductor than Bern Bernstein. And then, the opposite. you can just go ahead and turn them down. You don't have to look for a, a knob. You don't have to look for a button. You just go ahead and turn it up and down. Uh, there, are, there are a number of gestures that you can initiate from the car, or you can just tell it. It's got voice recognition as well to understand simple commands. Call Bob. It knows how to handle call Bob. Uh, but everything here is just very, very comfortable. The tactile sensations that are in this car are remarkable. The seating surfaces, beautiful stitching work great all the way through the interior. The, 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 this pearl gray interior strikes a real chord with me personally. My first seven car was a black cherry with this very color, this pearl gray interior. Oh, I loved it. And, and now I get back in the car and I think to myself, why, why don't you have one of these again? It's such a wonderful car. So from a driving standpoint as well, it's very well mannered. And yet, you can go ahead and, as I've described before, you can hustle this car. You can do very well with it, and we'll take it out on the track and show you what we mean there as well. But 
nevertheless, just a great driving experience. I don't know that I would necessarily need to have the 300, the uh, 750 at 445 horsepower. I'm thinking in this car, the 740 would probably do me just fine at, at 320 or 325 in that range. Uh, it's, it's got enough power to it that it's going to go ahead and comport itself extremely well. So that's kind of my take here. Uh, Lauren and I always joke that you know she's built for speed and I'm built for comfort. This is like right in my wheelhouse, folks. Let me tell you, I like this car an awful lot. I bet you will too. So I'm driving the 7 Series BMW, and the first thing I note is the auto cinching seatbelt. Love the sunroof. Look at that. It's got little etchings in it and light and you can open and close this, everything look at that all power you can see that behind me love this parchment interior it's like an El Cantero beautiful Napa leather but for me the technology is really cool you're looking at the dashboard when the car is off there's nothing it's black all the gauges are completely LED they're all digital so you're not you can adjust it any way you want Every single detail, the aluminum is, you, it looks like it's machined. It may not be, but it's beautiful. The detail, detail, detail I love. Now, for me, I love technology. And when I'm looking at this nav screen, it is huge. It's got a beautiful nav screen. The BMW iDrive of the past, where we all were like, ugh. I actually like this one. It's easy to use. It's very similar to the other brands. It has, of course, the media, communications with my favorite gesture control. You want the, you want it to answer the phone? You just point at it. You don't want it? Get away. And it goes away. Of course, Paul was talking about the volume up and down. Uh, you can also make your two favorites by just going like, like you're something cool out of a sci-fi movie. And then it turns to that, uh, to those favorite uh, contacts or stations or navigation or your BMW connected drive, which is really cool because it not just has weather and news and online searches, uh, it can also give you lots of concierge services because at this level, at an $81,000 car to enter this marketplace, you better have all that. Uh, the home screen also includes a My Vehicle, which allows you to, if you ordered massaging seats, which are really, really, really nice. Um, that's also included and there's also email through navigate through your notification so everything on this is really easy to use there's a sport mode there's a comfort mode there's an eco pro mode i wouldn't drive it in that but you know i guess to each his own uh the lighting in here the ambient lighting is amazing it's an led light like an opera lighting which is probably a pretty good way to describe it lighting within the door panels it's within the door sills and I re and it's just everywhere you can see it in every piece of the car on the inside but it's not too much it's just classy it's just enough to, for polish I do like the carpeted light they call it light carpet it comes from the side view mirrors like sometimes you'll see puddle lights uh, we've seen that before this is an actual carpet it gives you like lines it's really cool you have your own carpet to your vehicle darling um, visibility for me is really important um hey it's not just the rear view mirror right it's everything around you and i think it has great visibility of course seating comfort this is a level where i won't be complaining about the lumbar support uh huge trunk uh, everything's automatic which i really do like um the steering wheel is is a nice beefy grippy steering wheel of course it's leather what else would it be uh nothing is in your face which is what i love about this it's just all there where you need it. It's very much a driver-centric car. Love the heads-up display. It's multicolor. You can set it up any way you want. And of course, adjustability and all the previous technologies, the pedestrian cross-traffic alert, all these really cool technologies are already there, plus at least a dozen more. And we'll have more content down below on uh, what else is on this vehicle and its specifics. But, you know, considering this car is right up there with the other German cars, I think Boy, they got a winner here, and I think they know it. I mean, the carbon fiber and making it light and making it efficient is really, they've done their job. While Lauren's driving, I'm, I'm able to come over here on the passenger side and try this uh, the passenger seat. You, you could uh, get very used to sitting up here and having somebody drive you along. You could become even more used to sitting in the back seat and having Jeeves drive you wherever you want to go. Uh, the sweet spot for me 
is the reclining seat with the incredibly comfortable pillow that's back there. Uh, you can bring out your workstation, lots of uh, connectivity within the car as well. So it's, it's really set up very, very nicely for the passengers. Now, uh, let's say that uh, you want to alter the environment even more. You can dial up different scents within the car. Uh, they have worked with a number of, of uh, perfumeries to make different scents that come in a little vial and they are infused right into the uh, air conditioning system of the car. So choose whichever one that you want. I would presume that there's also one that you can add if you like. And as long as you're not a millennial that wants to walk around and smell like a giant can of Axe, you're probably going to be okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. You, you know you're out there, too. <laughs> you know you're out there. <laughs> I mean, I said that. Now, if you get an opportunity to, to purchase one of these cars or at least test drive when you have to sit in the back seat, I'm telling you, your kids will love this car. You'll want to ride it back. I think that's Paul's review of the back seat. <laughs> he hasn't started snoring yet. I'm setting up the uh, seat massage here. If you look here, you're going to see this controller that's got everything that you can do, whether you want uh, the lumbar massage, if you want the upper body uh, exercise, or the whole body exercise. Personally, I'm doing the whole body exercise. Yes, I, I, I want to go, <laughs> go for the whole body exercise personally. It's very nice, Tom. So we've got uh, uh, Polly up here driving us, because everybody in the movies is named Polly. Oh, darling. Would you like a tray table? God forbid. Look at that. God forbid you have to stretch it all. Here's a remote in case, in case you don't want to stretch. Okay, one of the coolest things here is that this has a stowed tray table for the back. Just like when you're on an airplane. Well, this would be a private jet. Yeah, you know, this is uh, just like when you're on an airplane when, when your name is Thurston Howell. The third. Yeah, because the second only had a bubble. The, the whole backseat experience is a lot better than it was in high school. So with the two new 7 Series, the 740 and the 750, both vehicles are all about luxury, design, technology, innovation, the best of the best, and they've showcased it in this car. I mean, the leather, the veneers, the carbon fiber, the audio system, which is Bowers and Wilkins, I mean, the comfort, the massaging seats, the iPads, this, the footrest. Do you need a moment? I need a moment. <laughs> I'm loving the car. <laughs> here's here's my take on this car. Yeah. You can go to Nordstrom or even Brioni or somebody like that. Never and, been to that place, and, but okay. And get a, a fine suit. Okay. Buy one off the rack and that's fine. And even though he this, doesn't. this car stop. Even though this car ostensibly is something you kind of buy off. This car, because of the detail, the attention to detail that's in there, has the same flavor of when you get a suit made. It's, it's a lot different. It seems like that you're able to take the car and if your one shoulder is a half inch lower than the other, if you know, Speak when, you, for when yourself. you No, I mean when you get a suit made, I know, you know, there's me. different different <laughs> things like that. Yeah. That's the kind of attention to detail and feel and psyche of this car. Right. This is designed to really, you, you don't want to be made to feel like you, you bought something off the rack? Well, no, like you've, like you've arrived. You've arrived because, in this car. This because car's if you've got this, piece. you have arrived. It, it has its own arrival to it. Right, and the price isn't out of reach. No, it's not I mean, crazy. You think, oh, it's going to be Bentley price ranges, especially when you're looking at Beautiful dark blue behind. It's like a gunmetal blue. It's really pretty in the white leather interior with all the goodies. That's reasonable. I mean, that's obtainable. And it's a sign of success. They're, when you pull up with that at a restaurant, at your friend's place, at the country club, people are saying, this guy's made it or this girl's made it. 
two different versions, 740 and 750. The right. 740 comes in in the 320 horsepower range. Mm -hmm. The uh, 750 in the 445. 445 horsepower. Lots of scoot. They also have the M package, and we've been driving around Monticello Raceway here with uh, their their team of drivers, and this car's got scoot, as you put it. Yeah, yeah. it's got scoot, and, and, here's, and here's the thing that I really like about what you're able to do with this car, even though it's a boulevard deer in, in a way. Uh, a what, 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 what? A boulevard deer. Okay, which well, you drive it on you drive it on the boulevard. It's know, a touring it's car for the rest of us, yes. Okay. <laughs> but, but here's the thing. You can play with the electronics and the suspension setups and everything else. Mm -hmm. And this is a big car that you can hustle. Yeah, and around you, the track. And you know the difference between driving a car fast and hustling a car. Well, BMW is a driving machine. That's what yeah. they've always been known for. But they're also technology. I mean, the grills even. I mean, everything about this car is about performance, but still luxury. Sorry. <laughs> you know, when you talk about the kidneys on there, even the kidneys are functional on, yeah. on this car. They're, you know, they've always been a BMW signature for a long time. Absolutely. These are the tallest, widest kidneys that they've used on this car. Like yet. using it for, for and, air ventilation. Yeah, for air and now dynamics. they come into play. Yeah. Now they come into play. How about those headlights, those laser headlights? Oh, wow, those are cool. Very, very cool. And when you got oncoming traffic, sometimes you forget you're in a conversation or you're focused on the road. It'll actually dim the lights down for you, and as you make your corner, it'll turn the lights for you. So there's so many little things for safety. And, and, and also on the laser lights, which are yet to be approved for the states, but mm -hmm. they're going to work that out. It's a lot smarter than you are. It's a lot smarter than I am. Well, it's the sure. beginning of autonomous cars. You know, you've got, you know, lane change departure and active cruise control and blind spot detection. You had all these packages in that are unique to this 7 Series BMW. But this leads to that autonomous question. That do people want that, or do they just want yeah, it's the a long guidance? Way off. It's a I long think they way want off. the guidance to be safer on the road, and this is a very safe car. It's a long way. You off. know, what I did like we we didn't uh, we'll have to show that uh, we showed that in the drive was the sunroof, those cool little etchings in it and lights, yeah. and at night, ooh, the video was pretty cool. Gesture control takes on a whole new meaning. As well, <laughs> Not which, those gestures. You're no, from I mean, Chicago. You know, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't help it. Uh, you, you're going to want to go take a look at the 7 Series if you're in this end of the market. If you're going to be looking at uh, the S-Class Mercedes-Benz, if you're going to be looking at the, the a Audi. A8L, yeah. Yeah, the, the Audi cars like that. Mm -hmm. They're going to wind up in this competitive set, and you really owe it to yourself to take a look at this. There's an awful lot of new yeah, stuff Yeah, I think you here. have to drive it, because once you drive it and you sit in that seat, and it's got so much to offer, and the gesture control for me is cool because I always get phone calls while I'm driving and sometimes they're important and other times it's like you want to go whatever. So that's a gesture. And that's my gesture. Go away. Oh, go, away. go away from me. Yeah, And you know what? It does that too. And the volume. I just think it's, it's just got so much to offer that I see you have to drive it. And once you drive it, you're going to fall in love with it. It's the new BMW 7 Series. Uh, more on the uh, the whole car, Lauren Fix at laurenfix.com. Right, and Paul Bryan, at, he tweets at the Paul Bryan. You can also listen to him at WLS Radio on Saturday morning uh, at Drive Chicago, right? Yep. And of course, like our fan page, our YouTube videos. Subscribe to it, will you? Subscribe, please. And you and can comments. go back and you can go back and and look at the entire channel, whether it's this car. A bunch of other cars. There are other BMWs on here. Yes. We, we were in Texas a while ago, and we drove the uh, the, the two series M2 series and M2 the four series, series convertible. And the, and also the uh, uh, X6M we had down yes. there as well. Yes. Please sign up for the free newsletter, which we don't bombard you with garbage. We actually give you facts and yep. stuff you can use. And if you want to make comments, please do that. We yes. like to read them down there in the bottom. So if you would do that, we'd be so appreciative. Love the comments. Thank you so much for joining us one more time. Take care, everybody. Bye. Thanks.